Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome to Der Eisendraha 101. In this episode, I'm going to be taking you through the map layout of Der Eisendraha. Starting here with the spawn room, we have a lot of stuff going on here. We have the tram where you can call in if you have a tram fuse and call in a gondola and get a power up. We have one of these Wondersphere uh, land things. I don't know exactly what you call them. Actually, I do, but the uh, little drops, I don't know. This is where Quick Revive would be if I wasn't on my third one. I don't know. I think it's still here. I don't know. I think I've taken my third Quick Revive because uh, I'm a scrub. Here we have an RK5 on the wall. Over here we have the Shiva on the wall. As we all know from the spawn room, we have a Gobblega machine. And we are actually going to go down the right path. There are three different paths. There's a middle path, left path, and right path, which I will show you all today here but first if we go to the right path the, the usual path you usually go this is the krm on the wall of the cell you can see the castle up there so um it's cool we got double tap right here gobble gum machine right here and up here we have a dog location for the bow and if we come up here with these stairs we have a gobble gum location we have a wonders fizz, wonder fizz location we have a vesper on the wall and then uh, we have some staircases go to a hello i walk too quickly um but this is all connected here this is all big one big area uh we will come up here this is another landing pad there we go and there is a an lcar 9 on the wall with a buildable table with a wonder sphere location right there we can drop on down here and we are in this upper or lower courtyard yet again so what you usually do is you'll come up here and then you'll go across these stairs where the VMP is on the wall right there. Then we'll come into here. You can go to the right where this Wonder Fizz is. Or you can go to the left where this KN44 is. And uh, this you go through here. Walking through here. And it's just a big circle. Just circles back to where this Wonder, Wonder Fizz uh, location is. Get out of my way, zombie. Uh, then we come up through here. This is the power room right here. We have an HVK on the wall. We have a gobble gum machine. This actually goes to the church. This is actually really well laid out map because everything is connected to each other, which you guys will see. We have the Bowie knife. We have stamina up. We have the power switch right here. Come out into here. We have a box location right here. I forgot to mention there's a box location down here, but luckily there's just a nice little pathway right here, and we're back boom in the lower courtyard, and the box location is right there. It's pretty common. You guys have probably seen it for yourselves. Uh, let's get around this zombie here. We will head on back up to here. That was the power room we just came from. Here's a pack a punch location. We got the death ray here, wonder sphere location, which goes to the rocket pad down here. We're gonna have another landing pad right there, and we have another wonder sphere location. We have the clock tower, which goes to this balcony right here. So we'll go through this balcony. You can go up the clock tower. There's nothing up there. It's just a dead end. But if we come through here, we get a bunch of cool stuff, nice atmosphere. We get a gobble gum machine and an entrance way to the church, which we'll get to later. But we will come on back down here because this goes to the lower courtyard or the upper courtyard right here. We have a wonder sphere location right there. And uh, this pathway is just where we came from right here. That is just uh, where we were just up there. That's the power switch. We just come on down here. And down here, we have a KRM on the wall. We have a gobble gum machine. And if we come down here, we have Mule Kick right there. We have an LCAR 9 on the wall right there. And we have the Quick Revive station right here, which, if I wasn't a scrub, would actually be there. I've used it three times on this game. Uh, but anyway, we're now in the spawn room again. Remember, this is the... Uh, that's the left path over there. So now we're taking the left path out of here and this is where we get to the uh, upper courtyard Which is really really cool Right here. We have a Kuda on the wall next to the Wonder Sphere location. We have a Vesper on the wall right here This staircase leads up into there and this staircase right there where we just were leads up into here Which is the church which has speed cola in it. We come over here. There's the box location right there. We have the buildable shield right here, which I'm going to need one here pretty soon. We have the M8A7 on the wall, and we can go up these stairs. And this is actually where we just were. It's all very, very, very well interconnected. But not only that, it doesn't stop there because we can go all the way back here and we can go all the way back to the power room. This is the HVK, and right here, there's the Gopoga machine, and it is all right 
here, which is very, very cool indeed. We come on back out here. This is Deathway where we just were. You can see how nice and kind of compact everything is. It's really, really well laid out, and I quite like it a lot. But let's go down here. Go down here. This is where you get the Wrath of the Ancients bow. Hello. In the Knight's Tomb. Then we go down these stairs, and this is the obviously anti-gravity room. This is where you get the BRM wall by on the wall. We have another buildable station right there. And there's not a lot of wall weapons here. We have a dragon location here. We have a little chute, which will pop you up to the courtyard, which I'll show you guys later. Gobblegum machine. This is really cool because right here, we have not only jug and a box location, uh, but we have the third way to the spawn room right here. Look at that. Like I said, very, very well interconnected. It's, a, it's not like Shadows of Evil or Zetsubo no Shima, where they're very simply laid out. Oh, we have a KN44 on the wall right there. But it's very, it's laid out very, very compactly. We have another HVK on the wall right here. If we go up these stairs, bam, back in the lower courtyard with that dragon head right there. This is super, super cool. If you need to get anywhere on the map, you are absolutely, definitely very close to it. Uh, that was proper English right there. We have another Pack-a-Punch location, and this is going to teleport us uh, to the, um, what do you call it? It's going to teleport us to the um, rocket testing area, but unfortunately there's a rocket test going on right now, so I will show you this. There's a little 115 jump, which leads you back up to the upper courtyard, which is a fantastic training spot. And you got that nice little easter egg there, but then you just want to return back down to there. Just go through these stairs right here. Very nice and easy, perfect, just like that. We're in the anti-gravity section right here. Uh, there's no really, well, I guess there is a wall weapon. There's a BRM on the wall back there, but let's see if we can go. Yeah, we can teleport over there now. And we'll head on over there. Bam. We are here, rocket testing area. There's a box location here. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. We got the gobble gum machine right there. VMP on the wall. We have a Wonder Sphere landing pad right there. We have actually trip mines, which I'm gonna. Ooh, look at Divinium. Very nice. We have the rocket testing area right here. We have the pack a punch location, which is pretty cool. In fact, I will do the honors of pack a punching my weapon again. Hopefully, we don't glitch out the. Hello, thank you. Fireworks, perfect. And let's head on back down. That's basically it for the rocket testing area. There's not a whole bunch of stuff here. There's a little Easter egg stuff. This is good training spot uh, if it wasn't for the actual rocket testing area. But if we want to leave, we can go through the teleporter through the way we came. Or we can go through this Wonder Sphere. And we can feel like a big eagle. And we are back in the spawn room. Ah, uh, I thought that was nice. I thought this is very, very well connected uh, place. It's a very cool environment to be in. It's a very cool map layout, one of their best, if I do say so myself. It's very quick to get around, very good for public matches, and uh, I think I've gone on long enough. But I will show you all of these Wonder Sphere locations here. There we are, there's that one. And this one connects to the one all the way over here. Bam. And then obviously the last one is going to connect to the rocket area up here on the Death Ray, and we can go down here so that is pretty cool it's a really very pretty map hopefully you guys have enjoyed hopefully this has taught you something thank you guys so much for watching and until the next absolutely beautiful zombies morning i'll catch up with you guys later and as always stay beautiful